so in our experience, it was the uh, we we saw that clinical supervision no? that it can be a very effective support as it is a safe space for reflection and finding solutions no? for professional challenges when working with traumatized clients or clients with complex psychosocial needs. And um, for us, it was very good that we had somebody external um, coming as supervisor, um, an experienced per uh, person in the field, but also a specially trained person who has no double role in the organization. There is no control. It's just a place to reflect together. And so, um, yeah, we, this person, this supervisor can take an outsider perspective. This can be individual supervision and it can be in a group and it can be in a team. And we thought it's really good if it's in a team, um, working together. And if it's, uh, at a regular, timely scale and along the work life of the professionals um, and we at the Berlin Center we were lucky to experience a certain method which was um, developed by Johann Lansen and John Hans from Holland and um, it was it is a trauma and culture sensitive method um, and the, sec uh, the sessions are structured uh, in several rounds and the supervisors explore and reflect cases on different layers and from different perspectives um, in order to find solutions for their challenging or burdening professional situations. Important, it's not top-down method. Yeah, it is not like a technical supervision or a teaching supervision, but it's a guided reflection and mutual consultation in the team and with the supervisor on an eye-to-eye -eye level. And the supervisor facilitates in a supportive and very participatory way and yeah, works with the problem-solving potentials of the team members. So what um, we found that this type of supervision, it, it helps a lot to prevent burnout and secondary traumatization and compassion fatigue, uh, to see the, the risks, you know, because we sometimes are over identified with our clients. Um, so this helped a lot. and. We think that external supervision, if possible, should be part of a policy for staff care.